A contingency table shows the distribution of one variable in the rows of the table and another in the columns. Contingency tables are also called two-way tables or cross-tabulation tables. Contingency tables are used to examine relationships between categorical data. Example 1. Contingency tables A survey to find out whether people like chocolate or did not like chocolate showed the following results. We now must use the contingency table to answer the following questions. A. How many people participated in the survey? B. Calculate the following as a percentage correct to one decimal place. 1. The probability that if we randomly select one of the people surveyed, it will be a male. 2. The probability that if we randomly select one of the people surveyed, that person likes chocolate. And C. Are the events being male and likes chocolate independent? Justify your answer with a relevant calculation. Solution In A, we are asked how many people participated in the survey. The number in the bottom right-hand corner gives us the total. So, 150 people participated in the survey. 150 is the sum of 70 and 80. And 150 is the sum of 80 and 70. In B1, we are asked to determine the probability that if we randomly select one of the people surveyed, they will be male. To determine the probability, we first have to find the total number of males in the survey. Use the table to determine n of males. Do this by looking at the total of the highlighted horizontal row. 45 plus 25 is equal to 70. So n of males is equal to 70. To determine the probability that if we randomly select one of the people surveyed, that person is male, we use the formula P male is equal to the number of males in the survey divided by the total number in the survey. This is equal to N males divided by N total survey. This is equal to 70 divided by 150, which equals 7 over 15 or 46,7%. This means that if we randomly select a person from the survey, 46,7% of the time this person will be male. In B2, we are asked to determine the probability that if we randomly selected one of the people surveyed, they will like chocolate. To determine the probability, we first need to find the total number of people in the survey that like chocolate. Use the table to determine N of likes chocolate. Do this by looking at the total of the highlighted vertical column, 45 plus 35 is equal to 80. So N of likes chocolate is equal to 80. To determine the probability that if we randomly select one of the people surveyed, that person likes chocolate, we use the formula P likes chocolate is equal to the number of people in the survey that likes chocolate divided by the total number in the survey. This is equal to N likes chocolate, divided by N total survey. This is equal to 80, divided by 150, which equals 8 over 15, or 53,3%. This means that if we randomly select a person from the survey, 53,3% of the time this person likes chocolate. In C, we are asked if the events being male and likes chocolate are independent. We are also asked to justify our answer with a relevant calculation. To do this, we first need to calculate P male times P likes chocolate. We then calculate P male and likes chocolate. If both answers are equal, the events are independent. We have already calculated P male and P likes chocolate. P male is equal to 7 over 15. 
P likes chocolate is equal to 8 over 15. P male times P likes chocolate is equal to 7 over 15 times 8 over 15, which is equal to 56 over 225. We now have to determine the probability that if we randomly select one of the people surveyed, that person is male and likes chocolate. We use the formula P male and likes chocolate is equal to the number of males who like chocolate divided by the total number in the survey. This is equal to N male and likes chocolate divided by N total survey. This is equal to 45 divided by 150 and this is equal to 3 over 10. We know that P male times P likes chocolate is equal to 56 over 225. We also know that P male and likes chocolate is equal to 3 over 10. So, P male and likes chocolate is not equal to P male times P likes chocolate. Therefore, the event being male and likes chocolate are not independent.